Hello everyone and welcome to one of my videos. So this is it, my first video in English language. So I would count this more as an experiment, but let's see how it goes. And uh, I would say if it goes well enough, I will stick to this and uh, maybe produce more in, uh, videos in English. Usually I do this in German, but yeah, this is a test now. So today we're going to have a look on how to create a custom role for Azure using the portal. This is a kind of new feature and in the past you were only uh, um, able to create custom roles using a JSON file and uh, PowerShell or Azure CLI. And now with this new feature being available, you can also create custom roles using the portal. But let's step into it and see how it goes. So here we are in the Azure portal. And the first I will do is I will open subscriptions. You could also just uh, search for it here. And then I open the subscription. I want this custom role to be assignable later. So I pick my Azure sponsorship subscription here. And then I go into the access control IAM. Then there is this um, roles thing here. And there you can see all the role definitions that are existing. What you could do is you could clone a role that is already existing that would be one option but the other option is to just go to add and say add custom role and then here we are in the brand new uh, uh, wizard where you could just create the custom roles so i just give that a name my custom role one i could put a description here i could say i want to clone and i select the, the template or the, the basis i want to put this on or i can say start from scratch or i could also import an already existing json when I start from scratch, the next I can do is I could add permissions here. So we can just go into a kind of a catalog here and then we'll find all our resource providers uh, and we can just search for, let's say, compute where we find our VMs in. And then there is Microsoft Compute here. You could also scroll down. It's a long way to scroll, but it would also work. And then when we pick Microsoft Compute, we can see all the actions that are inside Microsoft Compute. For example, when we go down here, we can see virtual machines and then we can say read them and we can say restart them and we can say start and we can say power off. Whatever you want to be available inside that role, you can pick it from here. You should be aware that number one, you also should be able to read the resource that you want to change or deal with. That's number one. And number two, you might need to add something to be able to at least see resource groups. So that's why we also add permission here and we say resource. Resource group. And then we can say Microsoft resources and then we can say subscription resource groups, read, get resource group. If we do not have the right to see resource groups, it is uh, possible to, to start and stop a VM, let's say, for example, using uh, PowerShell or Azure CLI, but you will not be able to just uh, uh, browse the portal and, and just go to the VM directly. So that's why it might be necessary to give the right to also read the whole resource group. So now we add that. If needed, we could also exclude permissions. So let's say we added a wildcard permission. Let's say we added a wildcard on, on a virtual machine, said virtual machine, uh, slash star, which gives us the option to do everything with virtual machines. And then we could exclude, let's say, the delete permission. So we do not have to uh, add every single permission we want to give. We just add a bunch of them and then just exclude what we uh, do not want to give. That's also an option that we can go with. Next, we can uh, say what is the assignable scope for that. We can also add an assignable scope. So that could be uh, one of my subscriptions or it could also be a, a resource group here. Uh, in my case, this is just the uh, subscription I picked where it came from. So this is the, the sponsorship subscription. Then we will see the uh, resulting JSON. So we could also uh, download that from here. And then we can, in the last uh, uh, step, can just uh, review that. And then if that is what we want to do, to do uh, we could just create it. So that's pretty much it. Now we have successfully created this new role. We can also see that here. So if I uh, search for my, there it is, my custom role. And now I can use that in the role assignments and could just assign it to either a user or a group or service principal, whatever I want to give that to. So this is it. This is how it works. 
Hopefully this was clear enough for you and you could follow that. If the video was good for you, please give me uh, a like. I would also be uh, uh, very thankful if you would give this uh, channel an abonnement. So even if most of the videos are in German as of today, there might be new videos uh, uh, even coming in English. So just give me uh, a like and then hit the abo button so you will get also information about new videos. And if there's any question, any comment on the video whatsoever, please just use the comment section and I will respond to you as fast as possible. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.